ozone is an allotrope of oxygen. Okay, ozone, of course, is an element, as is oxygen. Uh, we call oxygen a diatomic, diatomic element, and it just so happens that ozone is a triatomic element. Triatomic molecule, I should say. Diatomic molecule, which is an element. Triatomic molecule, which is an element. You know, some elements exist um, as single atoms in nature, but oxygen is one of those uh, seven elements that exists as a diatomic molecule in nature, but it also will exist as a triatomic molecule. Um, they are different, even though they're just made of the same atom, oxygen. They have different chemical and physical properties. For example, oxygen is odorless, whereas ozone has a pungent odor. Once you've smelled it and it's been identified, you, you would always uh, recognize it again. It, um, if you've ever spent a lot of time around a laser printer, um, laser printers give off ozone, and it's that, that kind of sharp um, odor that, that's associated with a lot of printing. And a human nose can um, detect the presence of ozone at a level of 10 parts per billion. That's very, very low concentration but um, our, our, our nose sensors are uh, uh, that sensitive to the smell of ozone. Also, ozone, it um, liquefies at negative 112 degrees Celsius, whereas oxygen liquefies at negative 183 degrees Celsius. Okay, you have to get oxygen colder to get it into the liquid form than ozone. Also, relatively speaking, ozone is less chemically stable. So these are all physical properties, and chemically, um, the ozone is less stable. That means it reacts more readily. Um, it will react with um, carbon faster than oxygen. Oxygen, to get oxygen reacting with carbon, you have to add a lot of heat, you know, uh, to um, start burning uh, oxygen. But ozone will react uh, at room temperature with carbon compounds and other compounds as, as well. So it reacts, it's less stable, so that means it reacts uh, quicker and at lower temperatures with other molecules. All right, so those, that's what ozone is. Um, it is an allotrope of oxygen, and you know, allotropes, like for example, these two allotropes are both, you know, gases, um, but they do have different chemical and physical properties, not unlike diamond and graphite. Diamond and graphite are also allotropes of um, the element carbon, um, but they have very different chemical and physical properties, as you must be aware that uh, carbon is a good, or diamond is a good insulator, whereas graphite is a good conductor, and, uh, you know, diamonds are clear crystals, whereas a graphite is a, um, a, a black kind of flaky substance. Okay? So there are, you know, other examples of allotropes, but today we're talking about ozone and oxygen.